Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods and we have one so it's new mod let's go to the mod hub and today we have just one mod which is pretty dismal like the weather at the moment in the UK is summer and it's raining typical anyway lizard subsoil is six meters by black sheep modding now he's got that on the front so I take it that can be used on the front that's pretty awesome so you can actually plow before you seed cool we'll have a look at that and that is it for today right so this is what we're looking at today and it's the lizard 6m subsoiler and this was came into mods and testing a few weeks back and I couldn't find anything on it and it's awesome bit of kit if you notice you have three point attacher on this side three point attacher on this side so yes you can link it up with whatever you want and you can also use the plow on the back or on the front as the prongs will always face the front way as long as you attach the right way and I thought wow that's pretty cool I like that now detailing of this well it's black sheep modern simple as that do they do a bad job no they bloody don't looks pretty good all the hoses as well let's link them up to the tratter get and have a look let's get it in the sun let's turn it spin around so it's in the sun a little bit and there we go we got the, the hoses are connected there so they will connect through when you put another implement on the back of it however I didn't bring a weight up with me and the weight of this with the cedar I'll just attach it just to show you so you just reverse that and there it is lemkin azure it but yes we're not going to get a lot done with that but you can do it that's the main thing you can hook it up so let's get back to this subsoiler but another gripe of mine so it's a subsoiler drop it off there it is what does that say lizard subsoiler six meters what section it is it is it in i thought oh cool it's actually one what will be in the right section because it's a subsoiler so i'll go into the subsoiler section and it's not in there it's under the bloody plows i don't understand why they do this they say it is one thing and then list it in another it makes it so much of a pain in the ass trying to find stuff it bloody annoying if it's a subsoiler surely it should be in the subsoiler category simple as that ah oh, right rant over anyhow going back now this will work at eight mile an hour and it is it's working at eight mile an hour and we're destroying a beautiful crop of i think this was oats no i think it might be barley anyway it doesn't matter what it is what it is and what it was it's flying right let's get the speed down on the worker we do it at three mile an hour we can see what we got going on what you done now he has stopped block dying up oh that was me yeah we got some nice animation going on now you can change the colors on it you can change the prong color which is 100 pounds or you can change the main color which is 500 pounds now for the size of this play it this is an absolute bargain it's 17 grand that's really cheap compared to the others let's just go to the shop and I'll show you right so it's under the plows because it's a subsoiler oh for God's sake right then there it is subsoiler six meters 17 grand six meters wide 
and then we go on to the next one under that is the 4.5 meter wise that's 45 grand and then anything there is a 6.2 meter that one there well that's 130 thousand pounds but that's not the one i wanted <laughs> that's the one i wanted there it is 6.2 meters i was thinking it's not that much right and that's seventy-seven thousand, and you need 360 horsepower now this one is not only a lot cheaper 17 grand to buy it or 867 initial leasing costs so it's pretty pretty cheap go about all the colors we've got all the colors in there all the normal colors are available so that's the prong color and then you can change the main color as well let's not do it black let's do it pink pink you can have a pink plow i do like these lizard logos they're really well done they look really good anyhow where's he gone he's gone that's minus four slots so not too excessive and like I said, you do need the 180 horsepower. But remember, if you're using different implements, you will need more power. But it all seems to be working. No problem. We're going to see if we can delete some fields with it as well. Which it does give you the options in the menu. Delete fields and that's not the right button there it is yep and that works no problem that's definitely deleting fields but nice mod i do like the fact you can attach different um cedars or planters however we've only got one cedar which is six meters at the moment well on console anyway doing this on ps4 we'll be going on to pc very shortly it needs to be done still play on ps4 but do a lot of the mods on pc right well that is it for today one lizard subsoiler stroke which is in the plow category if you're trying to find it pretty cool loving that right now well if you've enjoyed this episode and found it useful or even entertaining then uh, don't forget to smash that like button for me we'd much appreciate that and i should lift the plow up while you're driving down the road yes that's a bit a little bit better anyhow as I was saying, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos. I create content every day, 99% of the time. So there's new stuff being uploaded all the time. Go and check it out. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.